Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mike. Today, we are going to draw a birthday cake. And I think this is a one year birthday cake. It's a first birthday. There's one candle at the top. And look, our birthday cake has a tooth. Now, I've never met a birthday cake that has a tooth. I've never met any cake that has a tooth. But we're gonna draw one today. We only need three basic lines and shapes to make this. An arc, a circle, and a line. Let's see how it all fits together. Let's start off with an arc. Right about here. This will be the top of our cake. We're doing it here because we want to have enough room for the candle above it. And then we're going to do another arc right below it. Just like this. Just follow the same curve. And then we can close that shape off with lines on either side. Just like that. Now if at any point during this video you need to pause and catch up, just pause the video, catch up, and then join back in with us. Next, we're going to add in a series of arcs. It's just going to be one arc right after the other that goes all the way across this arc. So watch this. Come on. Just like here, and we're just going to add a series of arcs. We're going to repeat the arcs. Siri just thought I was talking to her. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Go away, Siri. Go away, Siri. Okay. <laughs> so now. <laughs> So after we create these arcs, we're going to add in a line just like that, and then another line here. This will be the top part of our cake. Then we'll add in another arc here, and another arc here, just like that. We can close those shapes off with lines, just like we did above. And then we can add in two more lines. One, two, that come down to the bottom. Now you notice that these, the shape that comes outward like this, because we're giving our character some personality. It's not just going to be a regular shaped cake. We're making it look animated, like it's about to say something, like maybe it's saying happy birthday to me. So now we're going to add another arc, and this is where the cake sits on the plate. So we're gonna have the arc come this way, just like that. Very good. Now we're gonna do another series of arcs, just like this one, okay? And we're gonna do that right here. So just add in a series of arcs right here. And then we're going to add in circles because so we're going to make little decorations across this band here. So let's add in circles. One, two, three. And if you notice, the circles are where the arcs meet. So that's where we're placing the circles. And you can go ahead and do this all the way across and then repeat that. We're going to do it again up here. So let's add circles in all the way across the top. And if I'm going too quickly, just pause the video. And once you caught up, just join back in. Okay, so now we have our circles across here, our circles across here, and now we're gonna add in some Let's, let's see. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna add in arcs. One arc here, then another arc here, and I'll explain why in a second. And then we're gonna do two more on this side. One here, and then one here. Now, what does that look like? 
when we have the circles going across and we have an arc on the side, it looks like this shape, this pattern, is going around the cake. So we see it on the side, but on the side, we don't see a circle, we see an arc because it's sticking out of the cake. Good job, everybody. So now we're gonna draw the plate. So let's add an arc here, and then an arc here. And then we're gonna join those arcs with another big arc that's gonna go across the bottom all the way over to here and stop. And we're gonna add two small lines. And this is the, the depth of the plate. So we'll add in another arc like this because our plate, this is the, the depth of the plate. This is the thickness of it, okay? Because we don't wanna have just one line for the plate. We wanna make it look like it's a, a, a plate that's strong enough to hold this cake. And then we're gonna add in the bottom of the plate. We'll add in an angled line here and then another angled line here and then we're gonna finish that off with another arc, and that's the bottom of the plate, just like that. Now we can make our table, maybe this plate is sitting on a table, and we can make the table line go like this, and then come out on the other side, just like that. Let's add in our decorations at the top of the cake. So we're gonna do the same type of arcs, except opposite. So we'll go this way. And we're just gonna join them to where the circles are. So each time the arc ends, it should end at a circle. So you know how many arcs to create. And then you end it at the end of the arc there. Now we're gonna do another layer. Between those arcs, we'll make another set of arcs. These are smaller. You know what these arcs these arcs are on a real cake this would all be icing so that's going to be sugary and yummy and so good okay next we're going to draw the candle so we need three lines we'll start in the middle so notice there's one two three four five six seven so we're going to go one two three four in the middle and then we're going to add a line up line over and a line down. Now, if your cake doesn't have seven circles, just guess where it would be in the middle. It's, it's wherever you wanna put it. It doesn't have to have seven circles. That's okay. So we have our candle and now we're gonna have it lit. So it'll be a little flame on the top. So we'll add an arc and then an opposite arc. So then it looks like a wavy line. And now we'll add another arc and then come back to the bottom and it finishes it off. The last thing we have to draw is the face. So we're gonna use an oval for an eye and then another oval for an eye. And we can color those shapes in. And then we're going to add an arc and then another arc for the mouth. And then let's make that tooth. We're gonna need three lines. Do one down, one over, and then one up. And then you can color in that shape, but around the tooth. So make sure that tooth stays white so that we can see it, just like that. Now I'm going to draw a thick black outline around my cake just to smooth out those lines and make it stand out more. I'm just doing this on the outside of my drawing, not the inside line, the outside. And you can do this if you want to, you don't have to. You can think about what color choices you're going to make to decorate your cake. What color is your cake gonna be? If you follow along to the end of this video, you can see what color choices I made, and then you can match that if you want, or you can make your own color choices. It's your drawing, and you can make it whatever you want.
look at our birthday cake, everybody. Great job following along. Now make sure to watch to the end of this video to see the color choices I made. And then what color choices are you going to make? You can follow along with what I did, or you can make your own. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for joining in with me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Let's draw with Mr. Migrant. For this and other episodes, drawing lessons, activities, and books, please visit drawwithmrmike.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Draw with Mr. Mike channel on YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook. Draw with Mr. Mike. Let's draw with Mr. Mike. D R A W with M R M I K E.